Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. We are now going to be starting Area 3. I'll just skip through this cutscene. Uh, in this part, I'm going to be going and doing a little bit of backtracking for some stuff that I missed. Well, I shouldn't say missed, stuff that I couldn't get on my first time around. Uh, here's the place where Snorlax was residing. Never, ever put your Snorlax at an all-you-can-eat buffet and then teach it Fire Blast. Ever! Ever! Trust me on this. You've seen what happened. Anyway, go back over to here and always, always remember to water this flower. Until this happens. Come on. There we go. And now it has turned into a beautiful flower, but that's not finished yet. When I come back here in Area 4, we are going to be getting something pretty dang awesome from it. So. Let's go back through here in the Snorlax territory. Luckily, it's gone. Oof. Those Snorlaxes, they always like to block your path. And now I'm going to be going over to the butler's room over here because I got, I got caught on the table. No, because I forgot something in here. Uh, I noticed this in the editing. Wait, I thought these doors don't come back after you burn them. Huh, I thought they, they come... Hmm. I guess they only come uh, come back after each area or something like that, or they're gone for the area. Any anyway, um, shake this bucket over here, and a blue. Oh, come on, let me get. There we go. The sapphire will come out of here, and there we go. That's what I forgot in this room. But I'm not done just yet. I'm going to be going back to the second floor, not uh, the upcoming second floor that I'll be going to. Uh, this second floor through the foyer here and now that water that I got to water the plants I'm going to be using to water other things in this area because there's a bunch of gems that you can get so I'm just going to take a look in this room right here I have no idea what the heck this room is for this anter room or whatever, whatever the heck it is uh, I, I just thought I would mention this what what is this room made for all it has is Three little uh, tables with three vases on it and two chandeliers. I have no idea what that's for. Uh, but that's one thing I wanted to talk about. And the other thing is these plants on the balcony here. Balcony here. Water all three of them like that. And you'll get a load of cash like that. Woo! One of them is a sapphire. So you're definitely going to want to come, come here and pick that up. Another thing that we're going to want to get is a emerald, which is back over at that one bedroom that we found Lydia in. Uh, there's a plant in there that you definitely want to go back over there and pick that, pick that up. So that's exactly what I'm going to be doing, uh, which is right down the hall, which won't take long at all to do. Um, you know, I'm going to check those bookshelves just one more time as long as I'm here. So let's let's give him a shaky shake here. Du -du 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 Come on, come on, come on. Nothing. Maybe I really got everything out of it, and I just and I just never really paid attention to that. I don't know. Uh, can I, maybe I have to. Huh? Can I actually read a book? Oh, I'll be darned. You can actually read books in here. Well, that's cool. <laughs> can you? Is there a book to read over here? Uh, yes, there is. Uh, hmm. I didn't know you could read books in here. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> well, then, I don't know. I'll just take a look through these here real quick. Lydia's child care diary. Um, <laughs> yeah, I never knew this was here before. Well, this is interesting. Uh, see, when I guess I always shook these books with my vacuum. And uh, I already talked about elemental ghosts. Uh, so, hmm, I guess you could check these books out if you want to later. Uh, Neville, this is the guy that, uh, that we sucked up in this very room here. Uh, hmm. And, uh, I did not mean to shake that side again. I wanted to shake this one here. Book of Riddles. Book of Riddles. Uh, I like riddles, but, uh, this, that doesn't seem like a riddle whatsoever. <laughs> as you can see, you can get a fire elemental ghost from that, uh, um, fireplace over there as well. But, eh. I don't need that. All I need is my water, which I'm going to be using on that plant right over there. And here you go, my pretty. Have some delicious water. And give me my gem. Yeah! Give me, give me, give me, no, not the, not the bed sheets. There we go. 
And now I can finally start for realsies on area two. Uh, if area two, area three. So now what you want to do is go over to that thorny door on the first floor mm -hmm. and then you'll be able to open it. The thorny door that I was talking about is over by the bathroom. Um, the one that was blocked off by where the booze were. Mm -hmm. Like if you didn't have five booze, you couldn't get in it. Well, now I'm going to be going into that place. So, here we go. We are about to go into the next area. Well, I should say officially going into the next area. And here it is. Woo! And let's go through here and we'll end up in the courtyard. There is something that we can find over here if you clear out all the ghosts, like these critters up here. Um, there's a, there should be a dangler up here that throws bombs down, wherever the heck it is. Wait, there it is! Gimme! Yay! Yeah, that's a new kind of dangler that, uh, drops bombs, as I said. Um, if you knock on this birdhouse thingy here, you're going to find Mario's letter. Surprisingly, it's in a birdhouse and not a mailbox, so that makes absolutely no sense. I guess someone wanted to hide it in the birdhouse or something? I don't know. Anyway, you can suck him in. Uh, I want to suck all the ghosts in, though, if, if I can. And there we go. Um, you can also water these plants. They might give you some pocket change. Um, oh, I just seen an emerald over there. Um, unlike when you shake stuff in other rooms, that 50-50 chance of finding things, when you water a plant, you'll always find something from that plant. So once you water a plant, you can be sure that you don't need to do it again, just to make sure that you got everything. Anyway, what if I shake this thing here? I get a heart, huh? I guess I could use that since I'm not at full health. What about this lantern? No? Ooh, I, I want to get rid of the laundry! Dirty laundry! Yeah! Uh, I am a good Samaritan. So, I know there's, there has to be more ghosts in here. I mean, come on now. I know there's something in this, this courtyard area. There we go! No, 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 no! Ow! You're not allowed to do that, so I guess there's two more here. There we go, that's one of the two. I want another one to pop out. I mean, I should say I want that. There we go. Gimme! There we go. And that clears the room. That'll give you this treasure chest right here, which contains a load of goodies. Yeah, baby! Woohoo! And suck as much of it as, as you can in before it uh, disappears. And there we go. You're gonna notice that the door on the other side of this uh, area here is locked. However, if you knock on this thing here... Okay, maybe I should have just opened it up with the vacuum cleaner. <laughs> Otherwise I wouldn't have taken damage here. You'll find a crying toad. Hello there. There's something terrible in that well, he'll say. So, now we gotta drop down in the well. So, over here, you just walk up to the plank and flop down. Yeah, it's, well, not flop down, it's more like a ladder. Magically, the overground go grows dark for some reason, and we're at the bottom of the well. And a cutscene will occur. I will save you! How did you get yourself trapped in there anyway? You can defeat ghosts or at least dodge them. I've seen you do it before. Anyway, now there's a dangler over here. If you defeat that dangler, it'll give you a key as well as clear this little well room over here. This key is the key to the rec room, which is right down the, the courtyard area or the, uh, yeah, the courtyard area, which is right up here. And now. Both these areas are cleared and we can move on. And we're going to be finding a brand new portrait ghost in this upcoming room here, known as Biff Atlas. Um, I'm just thinking of something here. We're, um, there's a blue ghost in the rec room, if I'm not mistaken. This very room here. Uh, I believe I have to shake one of these things here. There we go! Woo! Yeah! Give me the pocket change! And there is a delightful ruby from that. Ah, uh, that's going to be worth quite a bit in my final totals. Every little bit helps, so let's collect these coins. Especially if I take hits, that would kind of suck there. 
Uh, Biff here, I believe, is an optional ghost. Um, to get the key out of this room, just keep walking on this treadmill here, and yeah. Who's gonna think of that? Not me. I never thought, I never thought of that the first time I played through this game. And I was just playing around in this room uh, later on after wandering the halls for days upon days. My first playthrough. Well, uh, okay, maybe I'm exaggerating there, as I always do. Um, but yeah, it's, it's not something that's very obvious, so you end up getting stuck there for a while. So yeah, there's Biff. He's, uh, he's quite the bodybuilding type. He also does a ton of damage, more than any other uh, ghost does in the entire house. He does 20 HP of damage if he hits you. Uh, what you want to do is see these punching bags here, just uh, punch it right into him, and yeah. Once you do that three times, um, he will uh, eventually reveal his heart, and you'll be able to hit him. For, you gotta wait for him to uh, do that, well not do that thing, gotta wait for these things to stop moving. And there we go, that's number two. And I'm sure you will get number three as he charges for me right over here. Come on. Yeah, look how silly he is. And now he's revealed and I can suck him in. Do not expect him to get him on your first try. His pull is really strong and he's very likely going to knock you off easily just like that. Uh, so now he's going to start weightlifting again. He's not harmless anymore. You just have to hit him one more time and he's going to get KO'd again. And <laughs> That really sucked there, and I, I was gonna say you don't need the flashlight, but uh, you just need to- Ow! I forgot you you can't get hit by the recoil. I should say you can get hit by the recoil of that. And you don't need the flashlight to stun him now, uh, but so all you have to do is grab him with your vacuum and- Oh, he threw me off again. Curses! Well, it should only be one more run. Uh, just get the pearls, and that's all. And here we go! Dink! And that's all. And now there should be a boo to be found in here. Just like that, and there's a bunch of cash. Any optional ghost, you'll you'll come across a treasure chest with a load of money like that. That's why those optional ghosts are really worth getting. They always seem to contain a uh, white diamond like that. So you definitely want to get all the optional ghosts if you want that A rank. And looking for the boo. That's a boo bomb. I do not need you. There is a mirror over there if you want to return to the foyer for some reason. Is this a boo? Yeah, baby! It's Boo Regard! You're going down, baby! Yeah! I think he's gonna get away. Oh no, he got away! Okay, so he went over to. Whoops. He went over to. That room over there. So I, I could just take a little shortcut by going through here. And then unlocking this door, this is a little shortcut door basically, there's no real purpose to that other other than to be a shortcut. And then go into here and we should find the boo in the conservatory! Woo! Musical chairs of death! Okay, and there's no musical chairs, but there is just the boo. Woo! And... A special bit of information. Uh, the, I, I already told the people to water the plants. Dang it! Weren't you paying attention? You've been tracking me with the Game Boy Horror all this time. Dang it! Uh, okay, so now what you want to do is go upstairs, and we're going to be visiting the second floor of this area. Um, actually, what I think I'm going to be doing is starting that off in the next part. So I think I'm going to end it here. And I'll see you guys in the next part. I hope you enjoyed.